Are you ready to make the big move with your little one from them sleeping in their bassinet to them sleeping in their nursery in their own crib? I have 10 tips for you before you make the transition. Hi there, my name's Amy. I'm a pediatric sleep consultant and the founder of the Postpartum Party and these tips will help you make the big move from bassinet to crib for your baby. First of all, are you wondering when you should make the transition from the bassinet to your baby sleeping in their own crib? The American Academy of Pediatrics, or the AAP as it's abbreviated, recommends room sharing for the first six months of your baby's life to help reduce the risk of SIDS. However, many families make the choice to room share for a little bit longer, and some choose to room share for even less time. This is such a personal decision and every family must decide what is best for them. For me personally, every time my baby made a little noise or peep, I would wake up and just be so woken up to her even if she was still sleeping. So for us, it was better to move her to her crib a little bit earlier as that helped everybody sleep a little bit better. So if you're ready to make the transition, here are 10 tips on how to make it go as seamless as possible. So before we even think about making the transition from the bassinet to the crib, let's make sure that we have a safe sleep space ready for your baby. This will be a crib and the only thing that should be in the crib is going to be a fitted sheet and the mattress. Okay, so we want to keep blankets, pillows, toys, any soft objects out of the crib to ensure that your baby is safe and free from any sort of entrapment or strangulation when they sleep. This includes bumper pads, even the breathable mesh bumpers. They're just, none of them are approved for sleeping. So prepare your safe sleep space. A good rule of thumb is that a boring crib is a safe crib. Tip number two is that we want to create an optimal sleep environment for your baby. So this means including things in your nursery that will help your baby sleep. So include a white noise sound machine. We want to have blackout curtains to create darkness for your baby. We want a cool temperature so your baby is comfortable at night. And we want to make sure that you're not using any night lights during baby sleep. Tip number three is to swaddle your baby. Now only do this if your baby hasn't started rolling over or showed signs of rolling over. But if your baby is on the younger end and you're going to transition them to the crib and they haven't showed any signs of rolling, then I want you to continue swaddling them as you put them in the crib. The crib is an awfully big space for your little baby and so that swaddle can really help them feel a little more cozy and a little more like they're in the womb. Tip number four is to make the nursery familiar to them. So if your baby has never spent any amount of time in their nursery and then you transition them to sleeping in it, it's going to be an awfully big adjustment. So I want you to spend time in your baby's nursery with them weeks before you even move them into there for sleeping time. So this can include things like doing feedings in their nursery. You can put them in the crib and play peekaboo with them. That's a really great way to help them get familiar with their crib. You can just be in the nursery, changing them, getting them dressed, playing with them. Just spend some time in the nursery so that it's a familiar and safe place with you and that will help them make the adjustment to also sleeping in it. Tip number five is to make the crib feel like mom. So if your baby is used to sleeping really close to you, or maybe they're even used to falling asleep in your arms and you want to transition them to the crib, let's get them feeling a little more cozy and a little more connected to mom. You can do this a couple of ways. You can either sleep with one of their swaddles, a sleep sack, or a fitted sheet that's going to later go onto their crib mattress. Sleep with that for a few nights just so that it gets your smell on it and really just starts to feel and smell like mom. And then when you're ready to transition your baby to the crib, you can then put them in that swaddle sleep sack or put the fitted sheet on the crib and it will already have your smell on it, helping them feel a little closer and connected to mom, even when you're not there all night. Tip number six. Now, if you haven't done this already, I want you to start a bedtime routine with your baby. This can be about three to five activities and it follows the same series of events each night. 
This will just help cue to your baby's brain that sleep is coming. Eventually, they'll start to anticipate the bedtime routine and kind of know what the next steps are and really anticipate that bedtime is near. So start implementing a bedtime routine tonight. And this can include things like you'll wanna do your feeding, you can do a bath, and then maybe change your baby's diaper, swaddle them, read two to three books with them, and then put them in their crib down awake. Tip number seven is to do the bedtime routine in the nursery before actually putting them to sleep in their crib. Now, once you have your bedtime routine dialed in and you're ready to do it, I want you to start doing it with your baby in their nursery, and then you'll go ahead and put them down for bed in the bassinet or the pack and play in your room. This will really just help get them in the rhythm of doing that bedtime routine and helping the nursery become even more familiar with them. Tip number eight is to start at nighttime. I'm sorry to bury the lead here and keep this as your number eight tip, but I really wanted to make sure that you had all those other elements before actually transitioning your baby into the crib. So we really wanna make sure that you have a safe sleep space, a nursery that is conducive for sleeping and all those other good things before actually making the transition happen. The big question that everybody asks is do you start with bedtime or do you start with nap time? And I really want you to make sure that you start the transition at nighttime. Think about it. The need for sleep is so much greater at nighttime. That's why naps can be so challenging and so frustrating because the sleep pressure just isn't totally there as much as it is at night. So I want you to transition your baby to the crib starting at nighttime. The next day, they can continue to nap in their bassinet, on the go, in your arms, however you wanna to continue to get naps in before you go ahead and move their naps to the crib as well. So make sure that you're starting this big transition at nighttime as this need for sleep is so much greater and you're more likely to have better success. Tip number nine is to practice the pause. So when you put your baby in their crib, they may be a little uneasy, they may even cry. I want you to pause for a moment. Now I'm not saying continue to let them cry or cry it out. We're not talking about that right now. We're talking about just letting your baby pause for a minute to see what they may need. Okay, you might even be able to leave the room, give them a minute or two if you're comfortable and just let them experience their new sleep space and see how they respond to it. Last tip is to have a game plan what you're going to do if your baby has a hard time sleeping. If your baby is used to sleeping in the bassinet and you've taken all the above steps and they're still having a hard time going down for sleep at night, I just want you to have a plan in place. So that could mean a couple of different things depending on what you're comfortable with. The first one is you can use the soothing ladder that is using different steps to help soothe your baby while they remain in their sleep space. Or if your baby is over four months up and you're comfortable and ready to sleep train, then you can choose a sleep training method while keeping your baby in their crib and responding to them via a sleep training method. If you want someone to help walk you through the steps of sleep training, then I would love to help. My baby dream system is for baby four months and up who are sleeping in a crib and it walks you through step by step everything that you need to do in order to get your baby falling asleep in their sleep space from an awake state. So I cover their baby schedules, how to create the conducive nursery environment, and my favorite sleep training methods that you can use to respond to your baby while allowing them to fall asleep on their own. Check that out in the description box below and make sure to use the special code that I have for you too. I would love to help walk you through that process Otherwise, I hope these 10 tips help you make the transition from bassinet to crib a seamless one. Sweet dreams.